Hey, what's up, y'all? Like and share your thoughts in the comments section and subscribe. The NBA will allow marijuana usage in a newly proposed collective bargaining agreement. The NBA will no longer test or penalize the players for marijuana usage if the seven-year deal is finalized. The NBA and NBPA are still in talks on the terms of this agreement. Drug tests were also a part of the past collective bargaining agreement. All players could be randomly tested four times during the season and twice during the offseason. Testing has been suspended since 2021 season, the start of the COVID-19 pandemic. A lot of athletes use cannabis. They say it improves athletic performance and others say pain relief and medicinal benefits. Former NBA player Al Harrington says that 85% of players in the league use cannabis in some form or fashion, and a lot of athletes support its legalization. The NFL and UFC have become lenient on the use of marijuana. Now, I remember my cousin from Chicago telling me Jordan used to smoke in the Bulls locker room. And this was like around the early 2000s. So I'm assuming it was weed, but it could have been cigars because he smoked cigars. But who knows? I want to know, is there a stipulation on smoking before games? I know they'll track the player's performance because that's just what they do. But I want to see how that turns out. I want to know what is the owner's stance on lifting the band. Because in my opinion, athletes are like the owner's racehorses. No one would do anything to endanger their investment. And that's a fact. Like this story makes me think about how people were treated in the past. Now we all know marijuana is big business nowadays. When it was at the street levels, so many people were arrested for use and distribution. So how can the NBA allow the usage and people from that side of all of this not take offense? I'm talking about the people 30, 40, 50, 60 plus. What about the people with weed cases? What about the people that's been incarcerated behind it. Maybe a monetary settlement, you know, here, I don't know. But since this only legal at the state level, you know, that's a, that's an iffy situation then. Because, you know, the federal department still classify weed as a, a gateway drug. But also, when I was reading about this story, you know, speaking on this subject made me think about Brittany Griner and the Russian situation. Be honest, was it worth it for them to give up an arms dealer for a basketball player? I I'm just being honest. Keep it real. Let me know what y'all think about this. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this video, like, leave a comment, and subscribe. It's free. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Cause niggas die a lot